Deputies say a medical examiner will have to rely on dental records to identify a person shot and killed in World Golf Village. The sheriff's office canceled a news conference 45 minutes before it was set to begin today because the body has still not been ID'd. The body found is that of a man who identifies as a woman who had just started investigating the death of a St. John's County deputy's girlfriend. Action News Jack's Russell Colburn is live at the scene. Russell, deputies couldn't give you a timeline on identifying the victim. But Action News Jack's law and safety expert Dale Carson says it will likely be at least another day before detectives know exactly who died just beyond these gates here at World Golf Village. I also asked the sheriff's office if they can rule out any involvement in the Michelle O'Connell case. Deputies tell me they're leaving it all on the table. A last minute canceled news conference adds another wrinkle of mystery to the case World Golf Village neighbors say is strange. It's definitely a bizarre. Uh, event to, to hear of um, and, and it's really shocking to me. Andrew Applegate lives near the victim but didn't know them personally. Sky Action News Jax was over the scene after deputies say the man who also identifies as a woman was found shot and killed Thursday by a family member. Applegate says this kind of incident just doesn't happen here. I'm shocked. I'm, I'm shocked. Uh, you know, hearing something like that happening in, in a development like this is just, I mean, it's unheard of. Friday, the FDLE sent Action News Jax this statement explaining its absence from from the case, joining the St. John's County Sheriff's Office, who also bowed out. Both agencies investigated Michelle O'Connell's 2010 death, which was ruled a suicide. Her family suspected her boyfriend, St. John's County Deputy Jeremy Banks. The FDLE said in part they're not involved to assure there's no unnecessary distraction and impartiality. They said their lab system will provide forensic assistance. With the O'Connell case still possibly connected, a family member told Action News Jacks Friday, our hearts and prayers go out to the family. And deputies tell me they have no suspect information at this time. All new at 6, Carson reveals why withholding the identity may just be a tactic used by investigators. For now, live at World Golf Village, Russell Colburn, CBS 47 Action News, Jax.